Good morning everybody from me in a very sleepy blue look <laughs> she looks so gorgeous. <laughs> so welcome to a new video and today's video takes me back to a time where I used to do these videos quite a lot and it has been a while but I thought today I'd chat to you about my current favourite glute exercises so these are just a few it does change I do really like to change up my workouts quite often as you guys may know if you watch my videos you probably actually lots of you do say that <laughs> but at the moment these are my favourites I'm just gonna keep this short and sweet I think I'm gonna keep it snappy I'm gonna leave you with the workout well it's not to be honest you could do all these exercises together as a workout if you wanted or you could slot some of the exercises into your routine if you wanted to do some more quad movements or some more compound lifting you could just slot them in or you could do it as a workout if you really want to but yes today I'm actually going to do it as a full workout so my bum is going to be hurting a lot so yes I'll see you on the other side <laughs> right so we've just got to the gym enjoy a peanut <laughs> I don't know what you're going to say then. So we've just got to the gym and I have just decided I think I'm going to talk through the workout today. I may be a bit slow because I'm a little bit still recovering from a hangover. It's Monday morning, I was out all weekend. My voice is kind of gone too, so please excuse, but yeah. <laughs> I decided that I think I'm going to say my tip as I go rather than talk over the clip because I think it'll be a bit more fun. First up, we're going to do some glute activation. My good old band. This band is from Grace Fit's brand BND. B underscore ND. <laughs> they're really good, aren't they now? Yeah, they're good. I Miles used that the other King. day. My glutes. He's stealing it from fire. me now. These are very good to add into your leg days. I'm sure you know this, but very good to add in your leg days and just intensify the booty burn. Yeah, so we're going to do glute activation. Very important, especially if you're not one of the people that kind of feels movements in your glutes easily. Quad dominant, though. Well, you might be quad dominant, sure. you might be hamstring dominant, you might be calf dominant. <laughs> Donovan, <laughs> dominant. Also, it's just very good to just wake up at the beginning of a workout, whether you are glute dominant or not. So, I'm gonna get going, I'm gonna get Niall on the cap. Yes. Hi, all. Oh my god, put it down, you're such a weirdo. So, as you can see, here we are starting with glute activation, as I said, and I'm just doing three moves here. So, I'm doing some side to side squat walks, and then I've got some glute bridges and some frog pumps, but every time I kind of mix and match whatever I feel like doing, it's just to wake up. The booty essentially. It's to be close to you, but I don't know how and what to do. I'm so shy when it comes to you, but I guess you're now we're gonna do our first exercise of the video. So this one I actually like to do first because it's still kind of activating the glutes but also is a weighted exercise at the same time. So we're going to do quite high reps on this one and then go into a bigger compound move with the bar on our second exercise. So we're going to do, let me pass you to Niall. Single leg thrust with the kettlebell and the band. You have to the band but as I said before it's just like a good extra bit. So, Basically, you're gonna get the kettlebell on the leg that is gonna be planted on the floor. <laughs> you're nodding like I'm teaching you. So you're gonna get that there. So you wanna start on either your left or your right. And then you're going to press up, squeeze the one cheek <laughs> that's planted on the floor, and then lower back down. So as I did say, but I just wanted to reiterate because I don't know if you can actually hear me. <laughs> the foot that is planted is the glute cheek that you are working on. So you want to squeeze that juke <laughs> cheek, glute cheek. Another thing to point out is keeping your chin tucked in and pushing up against the resistance band if you're using a resistance band like I am here. Right, so our second move today is a hip thrust. This is my absolute favorite go-to glute exercise, basically. But all set up. Today I'm actually just doing four sets. I'm not really giving you my sets and reps today because it's kind of more focused on just the info of each exercise, but sometimes, as you guys may see in my vlogs, I do do 10 sets of 10 on hip thrust. It's one of my favorites, which is just a form of training called German volume training. But today I'm just doing four sets. But yes, this is my setup. I'm going to show you actually how I get the bar onto me because that is a really common question is how to get the bar onto your hips. I think though it does vary because I think it's key that you should be using, if you can, the bigger plated weight so you can roll it on otherwise it can get a bit complicated unless you have a partner who can you know, drop it onto your 
tips. So yeah, I think if you can, and usually now in gyms they do have like five kilos at a big plate, then it's better because then you can just roll it on. But I'll show you now anyway. <laughs> So yeah, basically with this one, I'm using a resistance band as well because if I push against it with my legs, I'll get more on the, hip, on the side of my glutes as well while I'm doing this. So basically you want to lean on a bench of some sort. The middle back shoulder blades, you kind of want to have rested on top of the And then you're going to thrust upwards, squeeze the top, keep your chin, chin. <laughs> So as I said, this is my golden glute exercise. I really feel like this is what actually grew my glutes in size. So a few things to note out here for form is tucking your chin in so you don't want to strain your neck and squeezing the bum. Mind to muscle connection, thinking about the glutes as you squeeze them at the top. Sounds silly, but it does actually work. Get out. Okay, our third exercise today we are doing is a sumo squat drop set. So as you can see, we've got three different weights. So we're starting at a heavier one here. We're decreasing weight each time. And basically, I'm just gonna drop the weight each time as the drop set says, and move straight on to each weight. <laughs> I feel like I described that really badly then. But so basically, I'm gonna do eight reps here on the heaviest weight. Then I'm gonna do 12 reps here on the me medium weight. And then I'm gonna finish on 20 reps on the lighter weight. <laughs> It is a killer, and we're gonna be doing sumo squats. So, wide stance, gonna hold the kettlebell down here, squat down, and we got it. Right, I'm gonna pass you to the cameraman so you can watch. So, with the drop set, the reason I do like to add these in, as well as supersets, tricets, pyramid sets, and gym and volume training, they're just different techniques to add into your training to actually decrease boredom because sometimes I do get bored with the same old exercises I mean there's only so much you can do but also to increase intensity so this actually is a massive challenge in the middle of my workout which I just really enjoy just well I mean I don't at the time but it is just a really good thing to add in so yeah that's a little drop set chat just to say what I'm doing again in case you can hear me So with this one I just want to repeat as well because I don't know if you could hear me but where your hips are planted on the bench is really important otherwise you might feel a little bit unstable so just make sure your hips are nicely planted on the bench and yeah just push up squeeze at the top good old squeeze of the bum and then die at the end <laughs> right so for our final little combo today we're going to be doing cable pull throughs and we're going to superset them with elevated frog pumps I don't have an elevation right now but I will Actually, I'm gonna use this as an elevation, so kind of want an elevation that isn't too high, as high as a normal gym bench. So you might wanna go with like a box, or you can just not use the elevation and just do the frog pumps on the floor. And I need to go get a kettlebell quickly as well. So yes, basically we're gonna do cable foot pull throughs, no rest, go straight into our elevated frog pumps with a kettlebell. So supersets are just two exercises back to back, no rest. I'll pass you on to him now. So with our cable pull through, it's just a few little tips and tricks from me. <laughs> with a cable pull through, it's really easy to um, put the weight onto your upper body. So when you're pulling upwards, your upper body's actually working. So you want to really be focusing on your bum here <laughs> again and making sure it is the muscle that is pulling upwards. And the way to do that is to ensure that the motion is coming from your hips as you're pulling upwards and then squeezing the bum at the top always squeezing the bum. I feel like I've said that like so many times on this little talk over. 
And then onto the second part of our superset, as you saw, I went straight into this move from the cable pull throughs. We are doing a frog pump elevated. And a frog pump is when, when your feet soles are together, creating a diamond shape with your legs. So as you can see, I've got a diamond on. And yeah, it's just similar to a glute bridge then. You're just thrusting upwards, squeezing at the top and lower back down. So that is my top five glute moves at the moment. Well, it's kind of six because we had the superset as well, but yeah. That is it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you heard what I was saying over the gym music. And I hope there were some tips there. Please let me know if you do like these videos and if you do want to see more kind of in the gym videos. I don't actually do them that much anymore, but maybe we will. Let me know if you want to see more. I feel like after Niall did one recently with me, I was inspired. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And please do subscribe. I never say that. I feel like I should say it more. So please subscribe if you want to subscribe and I will hopefully see you in the next one. If you have any questions, make sure you comment them. Let's have a chit chat in the comments and yeah, I will see you in my next vid, which will be on, I'm not sure what day, Wednesday or Sunday, one of them. And we'll be in the new house very soon because we got some news today. So see you there.